Okay, guys, so in this video, let's talk about how I got more invites on Upwork by optimizing my profile. So this video will be one of the most valuable videos on my channel. So don't miss it. Watch it uh, till the end. And this video will be split into two sections. So the first section, we will go through the steps, what you need to optimize and what are the most common mistakes. And the second part of this video will be showing you my own profile, how I optimize it. And uh, so you can have a visual example and you can see what did I change and uh, how my profile looks like at this moment. So I am from Lithuania, from Europe. I started uh, taking Upwork seriously since uh, 2023, May, so it's been a little bit more than a year now. Uh, since then, I scaled my account from $500 uh, to $30,000 in public earnings. I have 100% job success score, I have 91% client retention rate, uh, I worked with 70 clients and right now I'm building my personal brand on YouTube and on Instagram and I am providing coaching services for people who want to uh, scale their freelance and agency business to $3,000 per month and above. So my own goal is to reach $10,000 per month and uh, to help 100 uh, students uh, successfully scale their business. So there are five step process how to optimize your profile. The first thing is you have to make it really clear what services you are providing. That's the first mistake people are making. So people are offering multiple services and they are becoming generalists. When somebody asks you what services do you provide, then you have a list of services that you are providing. This is not good. You have to make it very clear, especially on, on Upwork. When somebody visits your profile, it has to be straightforward to that one offer. What's the main offer? What's the sweetest offer that most of the clients need this thing? So in my case, that's video editing, short form video editing. So it's not social media management. It's not uh, thumbnail design. It's not YouTube video editing. It's short form video editing. That's the main thing that people need in my case. Then not knowing and not targeting specific keywords. So that means you have to make it specific what keywords you will be targeting. So you should select uh, two to three keywords and then optimize your profile specifically to rank your profile at the top of these keywords, right? Uh, and uh, not filling out a full profile, that's another mistake. So you do need to fill out the full profile. And uh, I know it, it takes time, so just uh, take your time and uh, fill out your profile because uh, it's important. The second thing is profile title. So the mistakes are writing random title, not targeted uh, to specific keywords. In general, you want to have specific keywords in your title that you are targeting. So that's uh, that goes into into the keyword selection uh, thing, right? So the keywords that you select to rank your profile uh, in the search, you need to reflect that in your profile title because that's, that's the first uh, thing uh, your customers will see. Now, the second thing is the description. So what uh, mistakes people are making is they don't have any structure. They are repeating the same title. So the same title right here. Uh, they are starting uh, the description with hi my name is and blah 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 they are missing numbers if that's only text based uh, then the text will blend in and it will not stand out but when you include numbers then it it makes it more catchy uh, then call to action so this is crucial you need to have a call to action at the end of your uh, of work description and including your social media links so this is just like uh, one thing to avoid do not do not do that Remove all your social media links and remove email, remove uh, website uh, address in your description and the same when sending proposals. You cannot do that. If you are still doing this, then that means you haven't read over policies. Then go back and uh, read uh, over policies because uh, you can get in trouble and your account can get suspended. Now, education, portfolio tax, employment history, other experiences and project catalog. All these things needs to be filled out. The main thing is that you need to include main keywords that you selected, right? That the main keywords that you are targeting and uh, irrelevant job history. That's, that's another mistake, right? So you only want to include the job related to that one main service, the main service about your experience and the main keywords, uh, including, uh, 
uh, what you did for that specific role. Uh, then uh, showing your portfolio that is uh, different from what your client needs to see. So that's that's another thing. Uh, so let me show you how I optimized my profile so you can see this in practice, right? So this is my profile and I am optimizing for a couple of keywords. It is video editor. It is Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts. Uh, for personal brands, uh, this is my differentiator from other people because uh, other editors, they are editing uh, faceless videos, they are editing e-commerce videos. I am specializing in uh, personal branding, so I included this keyword, but it doesn't get any search uh, for this specific keyword. It's just for to make my account unique, uh, to stand out in the search, right? Now, video editor, this is a common search uh, phrase and then Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts, these are also common search phrases. You see, I begin my description with uh, including the keywords, Instagram Reels, TikTok, YouTube Shorts. So it's the same keywords and I include numbers. So these two lines are visible before the client clicks to read more, to open your profile basically. So these two lines will be visible and you need to include numbers. So that's, that's what they did in this case, right? And then uh, in general, it's like a bunch of keywords. So Instagram Reels, if we uh, search for this, uh, you can see Instagram Reels right here, Instagram Reels right here, and Instagram Reels right here. Now YouTube Shorts, if I search for this, one, two, three keywords right here. And then Video Editor, I think this will be less. So we have one, we have two, oh, we have three already. So this is how you include keywords in your description and you have a call to action just basically asking uh, the clients to send you a message now i have a profile video right here i updated the cover with uh, showing some work examples right here uh, then i do have a couple profiles right here you can see with the editor social media marketing uh, then education right here so personal branding that's the keyword viral reels creation that's another keyword instagram growth that's another keyword video ads creation that's another keyword uh, then i optimized my portfolio right here you can see instagram reels that's the keyword instagram growth and revenue leads so if we go back we go to this statement different from what your client needs to see that's the mistake right so in my case i solved this by showing three different portfolio variants. So what my client wants to see and wants to get, like what's the end result they are looking for, they want to get more views, they want to grow their account, and they want to get more leads and sales. So guess what my portfolio is showing? Instagram Reels, views, Instagram growth, followers, and revenue and leads. So these are three main goals of my target audience, right? And then I included uh, a bunch of keywords. So video editor, and social media manager, uh, video editing right here, then video editing, social media management, uh, you know, showing the results, creating a nice layout, then video editor again, uh, video editing right here, and so on. So you get the point, right? Now, work history, so you cannot change this much, uh, but uh, the topic of the jobs that you are applying for should be repeating. So in my case, video editor, that's that's the common thing, right? So that's, that's how you get extra keywords in your profile. Uh, then uh, the skills, so I optimized my skills. Uh, what are the most common tags that uh, clients are using in their job posts? So what you can do, for example, you can, if you have a job history, so you can go to each of the jobs. So in my case, I have 57 in progress right here. So I can go to each of these jobs and to see what keywords uh, did the client were using to describe uh, the job post, right? And then I can see which, are, which ones are the most common and then I include them into my profile. Then I created a project catalog. So this is a pretty new thing. What I think this uh, gives me is uh, uh, a few keywords on my profile. So if we go back to my profile, um, you can see the title, right? Video edits, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts. So I also target the same keywords right here. Then testimonials, I do not have anything, uh, certifications, uh, then employment history. So you can see I in included the keywords, video editing, personal branding, social media management, video editor right here, media buyer. So that's another keyword, but video editor, that's the keyword that I needed. Uh, video editors right here, that's another keyword that they needed. And then video editor, again, social media manager, and then edited viral videos, then digital marketer, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, TikToks, um, 
then uh, personal brands that's another keyword then social media manager right here uh, social media accounts organically short form videos instagram videos youtube shorts tiktoks repurposing content that's another keyword uh, content creation strategy personal brands uh, editing instagram reels youtube shorts tiktok videos personal brands so you can see i included a bunch of keywords and I selected to target uh, these uh, specific ones. And then I optimized my profile based on these keywords, like included everywhere on my profile, including uh, uh, like uh, the one that was, uh, for example, repurposing content, right? So I have just one mention of this. Like sometimes clients are including this keyword in their job post, so I just decided to include it in, in my profile as well. So yeah, th this is uh, the practical way how you can optimize your profile. Uh, so start doing that. Uh, one note is that if you are just starting out, you don't really have much earnings. So do the optimization still, but uh, you are still gonna have to uh, send proposals. So I've wrote here instead of sending proposals, but you still have to send the proposals because you need to build the momentum and you need to uh, basically get more experience, uh, get more reviews, uh, get more earnings on your profile. And uh, eventually, you will start getting more invites. So this is what happened to, to me. As as you can see, I already have 100% job success score and I got top rated plus status and I have 30,000 earnings. So you have to get to this point uh, where you don't have to send uh, proposals anymore. You just start getting like a lot of invites. Now in terms of ranking, so I just searched for Instagram Reels. So this is my freelancer profile basically. And I found myself on on the first page right here. So if you scroll down the first page, but even if I was searching from the client uh, side or I was searching for myself on a different day, let's say. So these rankings right here, they are changing. So you cannot really decide what is your ranking based on the search. Bookwork is changing this one and it allows more freelancers uh, to get a chance to be featured at, at the top so i hope this was helpful thank you for watching and see you in the next one